you are gazing into a literal black mirror. As you stare into the blackness, into the interminable abyss, someone or something stares back into you. Time loses all meaning, and all sense of self is dissolved. You are lost in its depths. The demons possess you through this portal. Welcome back, denizens of Dark City. This installment will continue to examine the implications and moral dilemmas that arise from the technology depicted in Severance and their parallels in Dark City. Once again, come gaze into the black mirror and observe how the insidious technologies of Severance are but reflections of the same in Dark City. Intelligence agencies rely on a system of compartmentalization, referred to as security clearances, to maintain control of sensitive information. Information is disseminated on a need-to-know basis, and each agent receives just enough information to perform his job, remaining ignorant of the goals and activities of the levels above his own. This allows the agency to control the flow of information, and only proven agents are entrusted to receive higher clearance levels for increasingly sensitive information. Only those at the top level have the full scope of whatever agenda is being advanced. In this way, a conspiracy can be progressed without any threat of exposure by those whose allegiances are questionable. In other words, the weakest links in the chain have no information to connect the agency with whatever conspiratorial act may manifest in the public sphere. Plausible Deniability if information is presented in a compartmentalized manner, then people will never attain a holistic understanding of their environment. The dissociation of knowledge allows them to be controlled by an exterior source through exploiting their ignorance. By contrast, if dissociated knowledge is integrated, then the individual gains a more holistic understanding of a system and is better able to function within it. This would not benefit those who occupy positions of power. Compartmentalization is used in the education system as well. The question of interest is, how does the 1% implement a system of control over the 99% in which these tactics can be applied? The answer is through erecting an infrastructure or a framework wherein access to higher levels of consciousness are restricted. Some form of technology is used that serves as a barrier, preventing the populace from healthily progressing through natural stages of neural development the completion of which would enable conscious progression to the level of performing this necessary integration of dissociated information. In other words, the social engineers rely on some form of technology that induces a brain state that lowers the capacity for receptiveness of higher conscious states or higher vibratory mental states. To coin a pop culture reference, such a technology would prohibit the masses from freeing themselves from the matrix of disinformation or the illusion that has been pulled over their eyes to blind them from true reality. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Stay tuned to Dark City. In the coming weeks, installments will explore in greater depth the use of secret communication, codes, and mind control techniques used to keep us enslaved within the matrix of control. Instances of cryptography, subliminal messaging, foreshadowing, and coded language within film, music, and media will be analyzed with examples, and those who pay attention may discover ways to escape its influence. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming.